What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben, your host. So today when it comes to iOS, I'll be happy to let you know that Apple has just released this update. This is iOS 18.1.1 and this update is available alongside other updates such as iPadOS 18.1.1 and macOS 15.1.1. So as you can see, the update size on my device comes in at 190.4 megabytes. And now let me quickly update to it and then we're going to see what are the changes that this update has to offer. My device is now updated. Let me just quickly reduce the brightness. And now if we go into the settings and then go to general and go to software update, you can see we are now up to date on iOS 18.1.1. In case you want to see the build number, if we go to the about here, you can see the new build number. It's 22B91. So we are up to date. And if you click on this update here, it tells you that this update provides important security fixes and is recommended for all users now this is kind of unique because usually when apple releases a point of a point of an update usually they say it provides important security fixes and bug fixes but for some reason this update mentions nothing about the bug fixes and there are a number of bugs that i've been able to test in the couple of minutes i've been using this update if you are in dark mode on your iphone or if you are using tinted app icons there was an issue where if you would go into a specific folder it doesn't have to be utilities it can be any folder that you would have created when you go in the icons would go from dark mode to light mode by themselves without you having to change the settings and that bug was happening in the folders and also when you would open up and close safari the moment you open up safari even if it's in the night it would like bring a bright white screen and then when you close it after a couple seconds it will go back to the dark mode which wasn't consistent throughout the os so that issue seems to have been resolved at this point in time i can go into my utilities app a folder and it's okay for ipad os 18.1.1 there was an issue with uh, the apple pencil where sometimes it would, wouldn't charge and pairing was experiencing some issues and that has been fixed so those are just some of the fixes that i was able to test out from the short time i've been using this ios 18.1.1 on my iphone let me know what you think about this update and you know it will obviously take a couple of uh, days for me to be able to tell how good performance is overly and how good battery life is and if that's something you want to see then definitely do hit like and subscribe apple released other updates such as ipad os 18.1.1 and mac os 15.1.1 which i'm going to be covering soon so definitely do like and subscribe so that you stay up to date with the latest updates my name is ben and i'm signing off peace